What would the Plants vs. Zombies 2 look like in aquatic form? In this past update, PopCap started adding an aqua plant in the game. Therefore Surgeon and I decided to transform normal plants to aquatic form. This aquatic plant has an amazing design and abilities. Before we proceed to the video, this cute sunflower asks you to subscribe. Please click that subscribe button, it's free and it will help me a lot. So let's start with our boy pea shooter. Pea shooter is a plant that shoots peas at zombies. Now let's see its aquatic form. The design is really cool. I like the scale and fin details, which resemble those of a fish. Maybe this pea shooter has the ability to swim. According to Sir Jin, the name of this plant is Aqua Pea. Aqua Pea can shoot water peas at zombies, similar to what pea shooter does, but its water peas have an additional effect of splash damage and slowing down zombies. Sir Jin stated that this plant can be planted in water without the need for a lily pad. Just like other aquatic plants, this one cannot be planted on land unless partnered with aqua vine. Take note that, do not put touch wood in front of him. Obviously his water ball will vanish and also this plant can remove touch light zombie fire. Now let's see its plant food ability. Aqua Pea's plant food ability is really similar to Pea Shooter. In my opinion, the abilities and appearance of this plant are really cool, so I give it a thumbs up. It looks great and works well, making it a fun and effective plant to use. Next we got Aqua Bloom, an aquatic form of sunflower. She closely resembles Bubble Flower from Plants vs. Zombies Online, as she also releases giant bubbles that can stun zombies. Now let's see her abilities. Unlike Bubble Flower, whose primary function is stunning zombies, Aqua Bloom focuses on protection. She releases bubbles that act as shields for nearby plants, with a cooldown of only 6 seconds. When fed with plant food, Aqua Bloom generates a water bubble that protects all plants within a 3x3 area. Imagine using Aqua Bloom alongside aggressive plants like Bonk Choi. This would create an unstoppable combo in the game. Aqua Bloom's abilities combined with Bonk Choi's strength would make a powerful team that can easily take down zombies. Next we have Pobble, Potato plus Bobble, Pobble. While it's obvious, Pobble is an aquatic variant of the potato mine. I noticed its water ball design, maybe this ball explodes upon contact with zombies. Let's see. According to Sir Jin, Pobble will arm itself just like the potato mine, instead of just arming it can grow bigger and bigger. Pobble can trap zombies inside the water ball, which then explodes. The explosion doesn't harm zombies nearby. After the explosion, the trapped zombie will die, and Pobble will regenerate the water ball within 10 seconds, but it only has 2 life and the damage is also lessened in its second regeneration. This plant only costs 25 sun. In addition this plant can only be planted in water just like other aquatic plants. Pobble plant food ability causes him to gobble up 5 zombies inside the water ball and blow up. It's like a better version of Levitator. Now, let's proceed to the next one. Walnut is a defensive plant in Plants vs. Zombies 2. Let's see its aquatic form, introducing Aqua Nut. Its appearance looks like High Five, one of the seven main characters in regular show. You can see the similarities based on their faces. According to Sir Jin, this plant is named Aqua Nut. Just like Walnut, this plant is also defensive, blocking zombies. Aqua Nut has a very similar ability to Infinite, because of its regeneration ability, this plant can heal itself if there are no zombies in the lane. However, Aqua Nut has only 3 lives, unlike Infinite, which can keep regenerating infinitely. Aqua Nut can also only be planted in water without any help from Lily Pad. When fed with plant food, Aqua Nut can absorb water to keep its health full for 8 seconds, making it immune to harm from zombies. I really like the plant food ability of this plant, making it one of the toughest plants in the game due to its temporary immortality. The next one is Cabbage Pult. Cabbage Pult is the first lobber plant you can obtain in Plants vs Zombies 2. Let's see its aquatic form. 
Its appearance is really adorable because of its cute face, fluffy body, and its mini floating shell. The shell really makes the design look good. I guess this plant is referenced by the seashell pearl, which is the reason for its glowing cabbage pearl and its shells. Because of its seashell appearance, Sir Jin came up with its name, Shelly. Let's see its abilities. Shelly is a lobber plant that can launch glowing cabbage against zombies. This glowing cabbage has similar damage to Cabbage Pulse Cabbage. When fed with plant food, Shelly launches many cabbage pearls at zombies just like Cabbage Pulse does. Shelly can be planted on land or in water, and she could rid flames of explorer zombies due to her water. This plant seems like a cute addition, but it's basically just a watery copycat of Cabbage Pulse with little to offer in terms of uniqueness. Let's move on to the next one. Repeater serves as an upgraded version of Pea Shooter, it has the ability to shoot two peas at zombies. Now, let's see its aquatic form. Oh, Sir Jin is cooking. His look truly complements the theme. It shows a cool aura, especially with the spike on its mouth and his long hair, giving it a badass appearance. Sir Jin stated that this plant is called Aqua Repeater. He shoots two water balls at a time just like a repeater. Aqua Repeater can be planted on water without the use of a lily pad, and it can extinguish flames and touch light zombies. What would Aqua Repeater plant food ability? This plant has a similar plant food of Repeater but this plant makes a water wave in a lane that can knock back zombies three tiles. But take note that this wave cannot be affected against surfboard zombie, this zombie easily passes the wave. Well that makes sense. Lastly, our boy Bloomerong. Bloomerong has an ability which allows it to throw boomerangs against zombies. Let's have a look at its aquatic form, Bloomerang. The ability of this plant is just like Boomerang. According to Sir Jin this plant has the ability to throw boomerang damaging zombies twice. Just like Bloomerong, this plant can only hit three zombies in a lane. It can also do a little splash damage in its adjacent lane. When Bloomerang is given plant food, it hurls 16 boomerangs in a plus-shaped pattern, which return and hit the zombies again in a similar pattern to when they were first released on the zombies. Similar to what Bloomerang does. Because it is an aquatic plant, Bloomerang can be planted on water without the need for a lily pad, and it can extinguish fire and touch light zombies. Overall, I like this plant cause, the side of his ability are similar to Bloomerong and his appearance, this plant has a special abilities that can be planted on water without any assist of Lilipad. That is all for today's video. Thank you for watching. And see you on the next one.